Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at AVAX. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at the daily chart, as you can see, we do have a bunch of support blocks here that we are retesting right now, or I should say support levels. So first off, $10.64 all the way down to $9.40. Once again, we are retesting this level just like we retested it back here in January just like we retested it back in July 2021. So for those of you who have been on the channel for a while, back in 2021, we were making updates on Avalanche as well. And I gave you this exact support block, $10.64 to $9.40. And we had a perfect bounce from there. So you could have entered here, you could have entered at the top of the block, whatever. You had a perfect buying opportunity. I advised you in advance and the people that got in obviously rode all this thing and some obviously took profits earlier some took profits later on some took profits here but regardless they made money now we saw a second bounce of this level or a second retest of this level in January this year and right now we're seeing a third one now for those of you who know something about TA you know the more you retest the level the higher the chance of actually breaking that same that very same level so the, the the fact that we're retesting this only shows us that that is for now a good support but this could mean that we're going to be dropping below that relatively soon so we want to see a bounce and we want to move away from this level because we have retested it as support multiple times now so we want to sort of get up above it and start printing a a move to the upside start printing a, a local uptrend which we sort of tried to do here from february into april but then we dropped down here so right now we're still potentially going to be printing a double bottom pattern because we're still sitting at this low we're not dropping below the january low now if we end up dropping below the january low then yes we are continuing the downtrend we're losing a major support level and you're simply printing lower lows and lower highs and you're on your way down potentially to this lower support block that we have and let me give you the uh, levels for that so seven dollars 39 cents and five dollars and 91 cents so this support block is based off of this trading range that we had all the way back here in 2021 in january so you had this uh, support retest and you had this resistance retest you broke above and ever since then you haven't come back down to retest that level so there is some liquidity here we're probably going to come back down and grab it if we end up dropping below nine dollars and forty cents so for now hopefully we're going to be holding nine dollars and forty cents we don't want to drop lower than that we don't want to go below the july 2021 low if we do for whatever reason, right, I'm not here to tell you that we're not going to do that or we are going to do that because I'm not going to be guessing. I'm only give you some possible outcomes and some levels that we could be retesting in case we do drop lower. Overall, obviously, I do think Avalanche will be recovering into the bull market. We're going to be retesting the previous all time high prices and we're probably going to be breaking above that. So jumping into the daily chart, as with all of the other altcoins we are sitting in the oversold and the last time avalanche was sitting this low on the daily rsi was back in may 2021 during the terra luna crash and right now we're sitting at the index at of 25.3 and this is extremely oversold if you are looking to get into avalanche this is your opportunity because with all these arrows here you can see they're pointing to uh, towards some points of contact or some bounces off of this support block. So we have a support block that is set up from 32.5 down to 29 on the RSI. And every single time we entered that support block, we had a massive move to the upside. And this has been happening since August last year. As you can see and right now we sort of broke below it uh, we're even below the red support trend line that 
was hopefully going to uh, hold us up, but apparently that's not happening either. But regardless, this is a good buying opportunity. We're slightly below the red trend line. I do think we're going to be seeing a recovery relatively soon because we obviously uh, tend to get these relief rallies. So we could potentially be looking at something like this. You know, we may run into the index of 45 down the line sometime in the next week or two. And then we could have another move down. So you could be looking at a short term profit here. If you're looking to enter, you know, real quick midterm trade, make some money and get out, you can do that as well. Um, just take a look at some other old coins that have pulled back significantly. And, you know, it's it's easier with these old coins that have had these massive pullbacks because you can see we're pretty overextended from the 20 MA, even from where we are right now. Uh, retesting the 20 MA is going to be a 20% move to the upside. And as you all know, the EMAs act as uh, magnets, so they pull the price toward them. And hopefully, uh, this is going to happen for all of you who are looking to swing trade. Now, personally, full transparency, I don't own any AVAX coins yet. I'm not planning to buy in anytime soon. There are other old coins that I'm looking at. But if I do end up buying at some point, I'm not going to be buying higher than $13. I'm not going to be entering the project at, you know, $14, $15, $16. So, yeah, that's what I think regarding the daily chart. Let's switch over to the weekly and before we continue with the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon that's linked down below in the description. If you enjoy my content, you want to get more exclusive content, and you want to support me at the same time, definitely feel free to check out the Patreon because you're going to get a 7-day free access on my Patreon and an instant access to all of my content since October 2021, which is when I started. You'll get access to content like exclusive weekly podcasts, and we're starting to invite guests already. We have 40 plus low cap gem posts we have a bunch of project uh, reviews we have a bunch of resources that are going to help you save time and make more money with this upcoming bull market so this is definitely a great exchange of value for the both of us and once again there's a seven day free trial feel free to check it out you can leave anytime and let's continue with the video Taking a look at the weekly chart, as you can see, we have a major support level at $10.88 or $10.90 if you want to round it up. We had a retest in June two, two years ago, we had a retest in December last year, and now we're having another retest. So what is happening here? You can see that we are in some sort of a descending triangle and we keep bouncing up and down, but we constantly keep printing lower highs. And at some point, you're just going to have to break down because that is basically what the pattern is setting you up for. This is a bearish pattern and usually, you know, 75% of the time you do see a break to the downside here. So if that does end up happening, what are the levels that we could target? So for that, we can just grab the Fibonacci retracement. We can take our local low here that we printed in January. We can drag the FIB all the way down to the, uh, or sorry, the local high down to the local low in December. And we have our 1.618 target sitting at $7.15. So short term, that could be our target. That could be our potential bear market bottom. Now, if we do end up dropping below this support level at $10.90, we could see a pretty strong pullback down because we don't have any anything here. As you can see, we just started pumping in December 2020. And uh, that's why I really want to hold this level as support. I don't want to get pushed back down. But if that does end up happening, you have the 1.272, the uh, 1.414, and the 1.618. Uh, so $9. Then you have the next support level sitting at $8.20. And then you have $7.15. All of these are going to be your extension levels. All of these are going to be your targets to the downside. And once again, if you're bullish on the tar on the project long term there is no reason for you to be scared because of these pullbacks this is just the uh, market maker trying to shake out the weak hands using some FUD it's you know nothing more than that I want to thank you all for watching this video if I missed out anything important let me know I hope you learned something useful I hope you enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you in the next video take care and goodbye